hello and welcome to my class today i will discuss the theory part of the chapter combination and i will discuss the topics given in the ncert book only and the next level uh, theory will be discussed in the subsequent videos for the entrance exam so let me start the class so first of all you see the definition of combination what is a combination uh, i will write there and you see combination of all different objects that means the objects provided to us will be different and will be distinct no two objects are same then what is uh, then uh, what is the definition of the combination and how i will find the number of combination by using a given formula here and you see first the definition each of the different selection made by taking sum or all of a number of a given distinct objects irrespective of their order of arrangements in which they are placed is called a combination a slight difference between the definition of permutation and the definition of combination is that you see here the word selection here we we have to select the objects given to us and in permutation you see you have selected the objects as well as you have arranged them in some particular uh, arrays and that is arrangement arrangement means the object should be first select and then you are to arrange them in some particular order then it is a permutation but if you do not uh, arrange the object after selection then it is a combination combination means just you combine the objects need not to arrange them in some particular order that mean order is not necessary in combination so in case of forming a group or forming a committee or uh, you are forming say some selections forming a team these problems based on the chapter combination but in case you are forming a number you are forming a word you are taking arrangement uh, then it is a case of permutation so first of all we write the definition of the uh, com of combination and now we give the formula to find the number of combination uh, if a uh, if we have some given number of objects now see the theorem first the theorem tells us the number of combinations of n different objects this n sh uh, should be less or equal to this r by taking that number so the number of combinations of n different objects by taking r r mean this r should be either less than n or equal to n if you are taking r is less than n then actually you are taking sum of the objects here you see sum of the objects and if you are taking n equal to r that mean you are taking all of the number of objects okay so uh, taking at a time is denoted by this symbol ncr or this symbol nr and it is obtained by this formula you see the formula ncr is equal to this factorial n divided by factorial r into factorial n minus r in case of combination only this factorial r is extra in the theorem of permutation because in permutation it was factorial n divided by factorial n minus r only this r factorial was not there so this is the difference between the formula of uh, permutation and the formula of combination okay so then you see the proof of this theorem very simple proof you try to understand so first of all we take the number of combinations of n objects taken r of them at a time you see that one let the number of combination of n different objects taken r of them at a time be x that is whenever you are taking r objects from n objects say the number of combination we are going to find is x then confirmly from n object if you are taking r then the symbolic notation is ncr this is the number of combination of n objects taken r at a time and that is taken as x so we are writing ncr is equal to x now we should find 
manually the value of x okay so you see here now each combination contains r of zips of this x combination there are x number of combinations and uh, in each of this x combination you will have r number of objects because because you are taking r object at a time okay so which can be arranged among themselves in factorial r ways that means if if you have r number of objects and if you want to arrange them in uh, in such a manner that the objects are uh, arranging between uh, among them hmm, in different ways and that will be factorial r because r objects can be arranged among themselves in factorial r way you know this one from the chapter permutation thus each combination give rise to factorial r permutations this is the number of permutation because first you com uh, you combined the object taking r of that r of them at a time and after taking the r objects you are arranging them in factorial r ways therefore from r objects the number of permutation will be factorial r that is uh, the number of permutation of n taken objects n objects taken r of them at a time will be x into factorial r because this factorial r for one combination but you have x number of combinations therefore from x object it is confirmedly x into factorial r number of permutations okay so then npr will be this is the number of total number of permutation and we have uh, the formula or we have the notation for the number of permutations of r objects taken sorry number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time is denoted by this symbol npr and this npr will be equal to x into factorial r because this is also the number of permutation taken r objects at a time from n okay so factor uh, npr will be equal to x into factorial r now you see this uh, we know the formula for npr and we use that formula here this is npr is equal to x into factorial r and from here we are finding the value of x so x will be equal to like this factorial uh, npr is equal to factorial n divided by factorial n minus r and that is equal to x remaining same this is remaining same and from here you can find the value of x like this so x will be equal to factorial n divided by factorial n minus r was previously there and this factorial r is uh, taken as cross multiplication here denominator so factorial r into this and this x was in the previous screen you know that this x is actually ncr so we write an ncr here so ncr will be equal to factorial n divided by factorial r into factorial n minus r and this is the formula for finding the number of permutations sorry number of combinations of n given different objects and by taking uh, r of them at a time okay so we go some notes and we we will uh, we'll try to find some patterns to find the value of ncr actually you see the notes first nc0 this is by using the formula only factorial n divided by factorial 0 into factorial n minus 0 and that value is equal to 1 by cancelling this factorial 0 is 1 you know that one. and uh, factorial n divided by factorial n it is again so cancelling it is equal to 1 then try to find the value of nc1 so then nc1 will be equal to this one and from this factorial if you take one of the n outside the factorial sign then inside factorial number will be decreased by 1 that is n into factorial n minus 1 and that is cancelling factorial 1 is 1 also so it will remain only n okay so then you see nc2 and this time if uh, if you take this n outside the factorial then it will be factorial n minus 1 again if you take n minus 1 outside the factorial then it will be factorial n minus 2 that factorial n minus 2 and this factorial n minus 2 will cancelled out so here the remaining factors are n into n minus 1 and this is the factorial 2 and in the similar manner if you want to find the factor uh, n value of nc2 nc3 this is factorial n divided by factorial 3 into n minus 3 and this time by observing this pattern it must be n n minus 1 n minus 2 by factorial 
so we can conclude that the suffix of c like 2 3 or 1 is the number of factors in the numerator you see here this is the number of factors equal to the suffix of c and it's you should begin the factor from n this n this n each time you are beginning the factor n with n and then you decrease the factors as you proceed by one each time so here only one factor is to be taken so the value is only n here you are taking two factors so beginning with n this n and you are to write two factors because suffix of c is 2 so it is n into the next factor will be n minus 1 decrease by 1 only then this time it is nc3 so you are to write three factors here so n n minus 1 n minus 2 these are the three factors beginning with n and each time you are to decrease the factors by 1 and divided by the number of factorial is 3 and so on you can proceed for nc4 then there will be four factors n n minus 1 n minus 2 then n minus 3 divided by factorial 4 and so on then if you want to find ncr then the formula is this one and this time you are to write r factors there are r factors n n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on actually this is n minus within bracket r minus 1 and divided by factorial r and those bracket is uh, opened and then it will be n minus r plus 1 and so on and if you proceed in this way finally for the value nc and you will get the value is 1 because factorial n by factorial n it is n minus n is again 0 this is 1 and so this and this will be cancelled out is equal to 1 thus the minimum value of ncr is confirmly 1 from here you see and the maximum value that will be slightly different method and we will discuss the value for maximum maximum value for uh, ncr in the next uh, in the next slides you see and you see you see one important property here ncr divided by ncr minus 1 this is equal to n minus r minus 1 divided by r and n minus r plus 1 this opening this bracket only n minus r plus 1 divided by r so actually this property ncr divided by ncr minus 1 that means the superscript of the numerator and the denominator this superscript will be same and the subscript of the denominator this one is one less than the super subscript of the numerator that is it is r so it is r minus 1 one differ and in this case you can find the value by using this property and this property is obtained by the way n minus this r minus 1 that is superscript of the numerator divided by subscript of the denominator sorry superscript of the numerator minus subscript of the denominator then divided by subscript of the numerator here you see n minus r minus 1 this n minus r minus 1 divided by this r divided by this r and opening this bracket you see it is n minus r plus 1 minus minus plus 1 divided by r so we can use this formula to find such types of ratio of combinations you see one example here so for example we are to find the value of uh, 10c6 divided by 10c5 here the superscript are same and the subscript of the denominator is 1 less than the subscript of the numerator 6 and 5 here so it is uh, it has the value 10 minus this 5 divided by this 6 so 10 minus 5 by 6 is 5 by 6 only okay see the another property of combination it is ncr is equal to nc r minus 1 and this property is known as complementary property and what uh, what is the what what the property tells us you see ncr this is equal to nc this n minus r mean say you have 10c5 like this 10c5 10c6 then 10c6 will be equal to 10c 10 minus 6 mean 10c4 so that is one important property to decrease the uh, 
subscript of combination so if you have any combination then you can use this formula or this property to decrease the suffix of combination ncr is equal to nc n minus r so you have slight modification of this theorem also you see the modification of this complementary property so if you have ncr is equal to ncs if you have this types of two uh, this types of two uh, combinations like this ncr ncs this superscript must be equal to r or s either these two numbers are equal like this n uh, are equal to s or if they are not equal then sum of these two must be equal to this n so r plus s is equal to n actually if these two are not equal as like this one r and n minus r are not equal so in that case you see s will be equal to n shifting this r to the right hand side so s will be equal to n minus r so putting here n minus r we will get this complementary property okay so we go to the next step ncr plus ncr minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 cr very important property and we have to use this property in so many problems uh, in the uh, chapter permutation combinations so this is uh, what is uh, what is the property here it is it is ncr and ncr minus 1 this superscript must be same and the subscripts are differ by 1 and this time it is plus in the previous property we discussed uh, already discussed that ncr divided by ncr minus 1 that was division that is ratio of two continuous combinations and here it is the sum of two continuous combinations ncr and ncr minus 1 in that case uh, you can join you can combine these two by using this formula the superscript will be increased by 1 that is n was previously and this time it will be n plus 1 and you are to write the greater of these two the greater of these two is uh, r so we are writing r here so n plus 1 cr and we are to prove this one uh, in your exam it may ask to prove uh, this statement see the proof we begin with the left hand side ncr plus ncr minus 1 you see so ncr plus ncr minus 1 is equal to the just by using the formula uh, for ncr this one and plus here also the formula ncr minus 1 this is factorial n divided by this factorial r minus 1 and then this minus this n minus it will be if you open the bracket it will be n minus r plus 1 now we uh, we have to try to take uh, more and more uh, terms common from these two expressions so for that you uh, you have to take this r outside the factorial so that it will be factorial r minus 1 and here is also r minus 1 factorial that can be taken common in the similar way this factor and this factor c you see this factor and this factor so it is one more than this vector and therefore we take n minus r plus 1 outside the factorial sign then the inside factorial number will decrease by 1 and it will be only n minus r you see the line factorial n divided by r is taken outside then it is factorial r minus 1 n minus r is remaining same then plus factorial n by r minus 1 factorial remaining same then it is into this n minus r plus 1 is taken outside of the factorial that is n minus r plus 1 then this number will be decreased by 1 and that is simply n minus r factorial only now take common the numbers com uh, the fact terms common is factorial n and factorial r minus 1 and factorial n minus r we take those term terms common here so factorial n by factorial r minus 1 and factorial n minus r is common so here the term remaining is 1 by r only and plus here the term remaining is 1 by n minus r plus 1 only and uh, this is remaining same and taking lcm of this two is n into n minus r plus 1 so it is simply product of 1 and this n minus r plus 1 and product of 1 and this it is simply r so this negative positive r is cancelled it is n plus 1 remaining here so that n plus 1 is written in front of factorial n and this r is written in front of factorial r minus 1 this n minus r plus 1 is written in front of factorial n minus r you see that this is n plus 1 in factorial n 
r into factorial r minus 1 n minus r into factorial n minus r plus 1 you observe here each of this outer term is one more than the inner term of factorial this n it is n plus 1 it is r minus 1 it is r one more than one more than this and it is n minus r it is n minus r plus 1 so we can push this n plus 1 inside the factorial sign this r inside the factorial sign and this n minus r inside the factorial sign like this n plus 1 factorial is here this combining these two it is factorial r and combining these two it is factorial n minus r plus 1 so this one remaining same this factorial r is remaining same and it can be modified like this uh, n plus 1 then minus r and it is confirmly n plus 1 cr because if you expand this n c n plus 1 cr it will be factorial n plus 1 this one then factorial r this one then factorial this minus this is n plus 1 minus r so we can say the sum of these two combinations is equal to n plus 1 cr and this completes the proof of the property and this is very important property you have to uh, take it by heart okay so next we take another property You see here ncr is equal to factorial n divided by factorial r into factorial n minus r and that can be taken this n can be written like this n is taken outside the factorial sign like this n into so inside number will be factorial n minus 1 and similarly this r is also taken outside the factorial so fact r into this number is r minus 1 factorial and similarly this is remaining same here so this n by r is taken here so we have only factorial n minus 1 and here factorial r minus 1 and this term n minus r can be written like this n minus 1 then minus r minus 1 because this 1 and this positive 1 will cancel out will have only an n minus r this one just we have modified it so after that line this total term this term can be written as factorial n minus 1 then factorial r minus 1 into factorial n minus 1 minus r minus 1 so this is actually n minus 1 c r minus 1 so i am writing here you will be uh, comfortable for with this n by r is remaining here so this total expression can be replaced by n minus 1 c r minus 1 in the similar way if you take this n minus 1 and this r minus 1 outside then this number will be decreased by 1 again and this number will also be decreased by 1 again so it is n minus 2 c r minus 2 and again if you take this n minus 2 r minus 2 here then it is n minus 3 and r minus 3 as superscript and subscript of c and so on so this is also one of the way for finding the value of ncr and this process should be continue until you get the suffix of c as zero and whenever the suffix of c is zero then the value will be confirmly one and by calculating the remaining section you will get the value of ncr okay so let me take one example 8c4 and that is 8 by 4 is taken here 8 by 4 then it is actually 7 c3 that 7 and 3 is again taken away so it will be 6 c2 and then 6 by 2 is again taken away it will be 5 c1 and if you take 5 by 1 is again uh, if you take 5 by 1 then it will be 4 c0 and we should not go after this because the suffix of c is obtained as 0 so this value is 1 and after calculating this by cancelling you will get the value as 70 so this is also one of the alternative way for finding the value of ncr okay so let me go to the next one this is your new topic restricted combination restricted combination mean uh, this time you will have some conditions on combination so write the uh, statements only need not to prove that so the number of combinations of n different objects taking r of them at a time and of which 
if x particular objects are you give number one always included if you including this particular x objects from that n objects then you are to select only excluding that x objects so it will be n minus x and this time you have to take r minus x because it was your wish to take r objects from there but already x objects is taken uh, selected therefore you are to select only r minus x object from the remaining n minus x object very simple and then never included so whenever if you do not include if you are not including x particular object of n objects then this x should be exclude from this n so that is n minus x and you are taking r object at a time so it is n minus x c r okay so we go to the next one the greatest value of ncr this is also one of the important topic of uh, combination the greatest value of ncr how to obtain the greatest value of ncr and it is obtained by comparing two continuous combinations actually so let me take the proof like this we have ncr divided by ncr minus 1 it has the formula already we discussed in the earlier scans that n minus r, this is equal to n this n minus this r minus 1 this one completing the bracket it will be n minus r plus 1 and divided by this r okay so then ncr will be greater than or equal to n minus ncr minus 1 that is comparison of these two factors this one and if you take this cross product that is uh, division by ncr minus 1 on both sides it will be it will be n minus r plus 1 greater or equal to r it's very simple because this ratio is equal to n minus r plus 1 so by r and that is written here so just by cross multiplication it is n minus r plus 1 is greater or equal to r so now just shifting it twice r is less than is equal to n plus 1 and so r is less than or equal to n plus 1 by 2 actually our target is to find the value of this r to obtain the value of ncr for maximum value of ncr or greatest value of ncr so now we have two cases here whenever n n is a national number you know that and there are two kinds of national number even national numbers and odd national numbers so that is why we have two cases here for even national numbers what is the maximum or greatest value of ncr and for odd national number what is the greatest value of ncr we will discuss uh, step by step so first you take say r uh, n is even so case one if n is even say n is of the type number n is equal to twice m type number because it is even number and where m is a national number okay so using this n is equal to twice m in the uh, in the above relation that is then ncr greater or equal to ncr minus 1 if this r is less than it was n plus 1 by 2 and in place of m we are giving twice m plus 1 by 2 and then it is r less or is equal to division here so it is m plus half r and m both are positive integers mean natural number so r equal to m plus half it is not possible because left hand side natural number and after uh, taking equals and then the right hand side is a fractional number so r equal to m plus half it is not possible you are to take r less than m plus half and less than m plus half uh, the next integer or next positive integer is simply m and so we have r is equal to m the value of r is equal to m so ncr is equal to ncm is equal to nc n by 2 is the greatest value of ncr if n is even because here you will get r is equal to m only and m is what m is n by 2 so ncr ncm and so m is equal to n by 2 simple and the greatest value of ncr is nc n by 2 only if n is an even number and in the similar way you find the uh, value for r if n is odd number so here i am taking one example also say so hcr the maximum value is hc4 only because this 
uh, r is equal to n by 2 that is 8 by 2 that is simply 4 70 the value is 70 next case 2 you see if n is an odd number that is if n is of the type twice m plus 1 then again from that relation r less than is equal to m plus 1 that was the relation r less than equal to m plus 1 so then ncr greater than equal to ncr minus 1 if r less than equal to m plus n plus 1 was the relation and that n is replaced by m plus 1 here this is twice m plus 1 here and so it is twice m plus 2 2 is cancelled so r less than is equal to m plus 1 now we have two options either r equal to m or r equal to m plus 1 because this time the right hand side is also a positive integer so you can take r is equal to m if you take less value and you can also take r equal to m plus 1 if you take the equal sign so for r is equal to m therefore ncr is equal to ncm this time we are taking r is equal to m so m is what m is equal to this n minus 1 by 2 so n minus 1 by 2 or if you take r is equal to m plus 1 this m plus 1 then it will be r is equal to m plus 1 here m plus 1 and m is what m is this one twice n, uh, n minus 1 by 2 so n minus 1 by 2 plus 1 will be n plus 1 by 2 is the greatest value of ncr if n is odd number so you just memorize this two for n is even the maximum value is nc n by 2 and for n is odd the maximum value either you can take this value or you can take this value by taking n minus 1 then divisible by 2 if you take n plus 1 then it is also divisible by 2 okay so the maximum value is obtained here and now we see one example so 9cr this time n is odd so its value is 9c 9 minus 1 by 2 9 minus 1 is 8 by 2 is 4 so it is 9c4 or you may take 9 plus 1 by 2 that is 10 by 2 is 10 uh, 9c5 like this and both values have the same value now you see total number of combination actually this is one uh, formula this is actually one formula total number of combinations obtained from n objects taking one objects or more than one objects at a time then if you you are taking one object then it is nc1 or mean plus if you are taking two objects at a time then it is nc2 or then plus if you are taking three objects at a time then it is nc3 or so then again plus and so on if you are taking all of the objects at a time it is ncn and this value is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 and i will discuss this how the value of nc1 up to ncn sum of all coefficients these are called actually binomial coefficients so we will discuss in the chapter binomial theorem about this how this result is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 just this time you just know the value of nc1 plus nc2 up to ncn will be equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. Then you see the total number of combinations obtained from n objects of which p are alike of first kind, q are alike of second kind, r are alike of third kind and so on. This time the objects are not distinct. Some of the objects are of similar type. So in that case, taking all possible numbers of them at a time is given by, you see, this is actually one formula, proof is not necessary. So P objects are same, it is P plus 1, then Q objects are same, then Q plus 1, R objects are same, then R plus 1 and so on, then total number is minus 1 will give you the total number of combinations if you have some objects are similar. Okay, so we finish this class here and in the next level, I will discuss the problems, uh, I will discuss the theory part of the JE main and advanced type theories will be given in the subsequent videos and in the next video of this uh, topic, 
after this topic the next video i will discuss the problems of combinations uh, they are given in the ncert book and some extra problems will also be given in the next video and this is the next level discussion on making groups and distribution of observes will also be discussed this this topic will be discussed in the next upcoming videos so you connect it with my channel connect with my channel connected with uh, keep connected with my channel uh, channel to get the videos so today i am uh, i finish this class here thank you very much please subscribe my channel for obtaining the future videos thank you very much